Okay, guys. Hello. I'm back. Um, so, funny story before I started doing this. I was setting up, gearing up, trying to figure out how I was going to do this video. My daughter-in-law calls me and says, Hey, Ma, can you come out to the front real quick? I need to show you something. I get out there, and my daughter, my daughter-in-law, and both my grandsons decided they were going to hit me with super soakers. So, I am sitting in my garage, soaking wet right now. I have a daughter, a daughter-in-law, and two grandkids for sale, very cheap, and I'll even throw in a painting. Anyway, here we go. So I am using mostly Arteza today, except for my white. My white is um, Deco, was it Deco Art Satin Enamel? Let me see, can I get in there? There we go. Deco Art Satin Enamel along with some white house paint. We have Apple Barrel turquoise we have liquitex basic dioxazine purple because i love that color we have arteza silver there it is and we have arteza prussian blue so i'm loving the arteza paints they're very creamy um, I don't know a lot about painting, but I do love the way these work out. Um, they pour easily, they mix easily. All the Artezas are mixed um, about three to one with Floetrol and a dash of water. The Apple Barrel is two to one with a dash of water. The Dioxazine Purple is three to one. And um, the house paint is Basic, or the deco art is basically just a smidge in my house paint. So I think I'm going to do a spiral pour. And uh oh, let me get a cup real quick. Okay. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Let me see if I can get this in the picture. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on this, I think. Uh, guess I should have put it on top of the thing. So what I'm gonna do as I layer my paints, I'm going to do the white. I know you can't see me. The turquoise. The fresh, uh, the dioxazine purple, and my consistency is basically just it leaves a mound as you take it off the stick. Silver. I have no idea how this is going to come out. I'm still practicing, still learning, still trying to figure out what I'm doing. But hey, we all got to start somewhere, don't we? So I think I'm going to layer this. I'm going to try to layer it at least three times. This is an 8x10 canvas. I already have prepped it with um, my white paint so that uh, I have a base. And I'll just keep pouring. I also have to figure out how to edit these. So it should be interesting. I'm hoping it's going to be lots of fun. Hoping, hoping, hoping. This is a lot of paint for this little canvas, but I guess that's okay. Ooh, and 
the last of my white. Alright. The very, very last. So, any of you pros out there, if you see anything that I'm doing wrong as far as videotaping, um, I, I accept constructive criticism with a passion. I love to improve, I love to learn, I love to get better, and I want to make this fun for everyone. So, here we go. I'm going to attempt the spiral pull. I'm not very good at this. Oh, that's pretty. I love the colors. It's a lot of paint, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot of paint. But hey, that is a-okay. I am just about there. Okay, here we go. So, oh, it's all spilling over already. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, or a few seconds. And for some reason my canvas is a little unlevel. Off level? Unlevel. All right, little torch. Little torch. That is it. And Let's go for some tipping action. So I'm just gonna go around in a little circle here for just a second. Look at all the beautiful cells popping up. I love these colors, this is gorgeous. All right. All right, I'm gonna come towards this corner since it's almost there anyway. Whoops, oh, I'm losing my center. Oh, crud. Too far. Too far, too far. All right. Let's try and get it back to the center. And I guess we're going to go this way. All right. And back to, as that's the center as best I can get it anyway. Let's go this way. We're closer to this corner here. Oh, that's really pretty. As much as I'm screwing it up, it is still pretty. And back to the last corner. Okay, there's center. And over we go. Whee! All right, and back to the center. Let's see about my corners, because, you know, can't leave the corners undone, and the edges. Oh, there we go. Not sure what happened there. And this corner looks good. So. And. I got a lot of waste here. That's okay, though. I'm good. All right. That came out really pretty. So let me get my gloves off and bring you guys in so you can really see it. That came out absolutely gorgeous. Hope it dries this way. So I've had a couple that looked absolutely gorgeous when I poured them and then... Um, not so, not so much once they uh, moved around and dried and whatnot. All right, so let me get you out of here. Oh, shoot. I just dropped my phone in the paint. Ah, that's the second time. Sorry about that. So I'll have to, all right. So, there you go. Let me switch you around here. Hi, switching you. Whoops, no, I'm not switching you. Okay, I'm not switching you. So I just have to see how this works, but there you go. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? I'm gonna have to figure all this out at some point. 
but I like it. I love it. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Enjoy your painting. God bless. And uh, we should do this again sometime. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Good afternoon, lovelies. My name is Ruth. This is my first video. I'm going to see how this works out. Um, everyone's telling me I need to try it, so here we go. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, some type of pour. I haven't figured it out yet. I just wanted to introduce myself. My business is Spiritual Pours, and with that, I have a lot of the pours already made. All you have to do is give me a scripture or an inspirational saying. I will add that to your picture and either varnish or resin it and send it off to you. These are all in my Etsy shop um, under Spiritual Pours. So I will be back in a few minutes, all set up and ready to go. All right, see you then.